Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear. This isn't exactly a full level on its own. Even though it's a lot like a regular mission. I don't have a map for this. Unfortunately. My, that's a huge candle. Lots of light sources, and lots of statues. I imagine Gamal feels rather comforted by all those statues. I can't say as I... what the... Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck here? Okay. I imagine Gamal feels a lot more comforted by all those statues than I do. I can't do anything about the candelabra. Glyph of Unbinding. Hmm. It's an anti-glyph glyph. It can be used to destroy Gamal's statues. Oh, I am intrigued. Sounds like not all glyphs are meant to be used. Find and kill and find and kill and find. I wonder if just slipping on oil would work against these guys. That was the original front door you just saw there. Looks like this was written by the predecessor of Katika. It's interesting reading, but not directly pertinent. Try something still different. Yeah, still here, fight. Gosh. That was the mixed approach. Not much else. Oh. How many times am I going to steal this thing? As many times as it takes. Ah, oh, Gamal's just complaining about me again. On the plus side, since this isn't a mission, I don't have to find all the loot. I guess this is her bedroom. When she's not posing as... Small little girl, I guess. Plenty of books around. Oh, here's something interesting. Looks like she's connecting a bunch of landmarks with the five artifacts. Here's her actual journal. 
Apparently, she's the one who manipulated Orland into asking for the relics held by the Hammers and Pagans. They say she used to be human, but whatever she was, Gamal's a monster now. Who says she used to be human? She's more legend now than man. I don't trust that big guy over there. See much shit. Oh, motherfucker. Find and catch and find and kill and find and kill. Let's hope he gives up easily. If you're lucky, explosive mines will take them out in one. Otherwise, you have to finish them off with fire. You know what? At this rate, I'm gonna run out of statues to try that glyph of unbinding on. back here. Guess I should see what those two statues were guarding. Ah. The hand, of course. Got it. Again. Whatever it is. How do I get further in from here? I'm guessing Gamal just goes straight through the walls. Unfortunately, Garrett's doesn't know nearly enough about glyphs to do that. I believe this is the only way I've found to get up the back part of Gamal's lair. Doesn't seem like this should be the only way through, but it's the only way I can find. Oh, so there are some statues left. I thought I told you, I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried? I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting, and for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, 
We are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map is not yet clear to me. Chalice, crown. These things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books, some have been missing for months, some maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she... The Aldale Plaza, the South Quarter Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge, while our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are, at the museum. She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this... the last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, she'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? For the Council to still employ subterfuge, with all that's at stake. I will go to Orland myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza. And Garrett, if you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis? to see someone else pull a Batman on Garrett for once. I guess when everybody's a keeper, you get used to that sort of thing. Oh, he read this already. So I guess th that this particular glyph? Yes. The blackjack is now a deadly weapon. shall keep the keepers. Seems the artifacts are related to the answer that to that question somehow. I was just curious if there was anything up here, but doesn't look like it. No, I don't think I'll try the other one. Find a statue to test the blackjack on. do tremendous amounts of damage. Whoops. 
damn it. I really like how they did the statue's voices. Well, based on these last two guys, I'd say it's much like with the Keeper Enforcers. If they even think you're in the area, you cannot blackjack them. Here's some more relevant detail. Apparently everything else I need to find is at the Weldstrom Museum. Including the crown. Which, you may recall, I sold off earlier. In fact, you can sell off bits of loot individually. And if I had managed to hold on to the crown, well then Garrett would be one step ahead. Although there's still enough in the Weldster Museum that we have to go steal stuff. But it's nice that they account for that. <laughs> I didn't do it myself because, well, it would have given a fair bit of the plot away if I had done that and not tried to explain why, I wonder. Well, I suppose not. After all, it's not bound in the first place yet. I believe that's all we'll get out of Gamal's lair. So now it's on to the museum. Ouch. Oh, missed you. much else to do down here, though. Too bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty close to the museum right now. Doesn't look like there's a guard here like there was last night. So I'll just go down into this tunnel I discovered. <sighs> Take a little damage. Wait a second. Was that note there last time? Ah, no it wasn't. Carmen wants to see me. She has a couple of items I might be interested in. Well, I guess we won't be heading to the museum straight away. We'll just head back over to Old Quarter for a bit. See what she's got for us. Well, the note says, so I'll just tell you. She has replicas that we can replace the artifacts with. Them hammerheads be worse than ever. Or visioning seas. About them hammer heads. They be steaded sandalwood and her bunch yesterday. Bees. My bees will feed her on them fleshes. Bees. Yes, them hammer heads. But of other things too, like them city head Garrett. And something that bees unnatural. Bees. Close by, near see them canals. Unnatural? What bees you mean? Bees. Bees I not bees. know. But bees worser than hammerhead. Bees. Worser than. Anything. 
Worser than a hammerhead? How bees you know? Bees. Cause I be saw Diane's face after her visioning. Bees. Hmm. That guy's gonna be trouble. These torches go out just like that. Better knock them out. What's all this? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. In the ah! My eyes! How's the thieving biz these days? Oh, pretty good. You know. Thank my lucky star. I thought I'd been blinded. This even looks at me funny. What? I'm gonna pay those bills. You've seen it too, right? I hope you're ready for this. Can you tell I'm getting kind of tired of sneaking through the city every day? Well, anyway, Carmen's right over here. I read my tea leaves this morning. They told me you'd be here and that you'd need to buy something. Yes, the tea leaves never lie. You can see she has some new items on the bookshelf there. Well, let me buy it. The map. Always important. And we can get a crown and a heart replica. The heart is the one that we've never interacted with directly yet. The one other one would of course be the eye. Hopefully you all still remember the eye. Evidently, while the artifacts can be used for this last of all glyphs, there are a couple of other uses they can be put to by non-keepers. Perhaps to conceal their identity. Perhaps to make sure they keep wandering through people's hands. None of them seem to do any good, unless they're used for their intended purpose. See you in the mission.